The tale of Sheba and King Solomon, which dates back to around 970 to 931 BC, begins with Solomon's quest to find materials from merchants worldwide for the construction of his temple. Sheba, having heard of Solomon's renowned wisdom, dispatched a merchant named Tamarin to visit the king. Tamarin returned with tales of Solomon's elaborate worship of God and his impressive temple building skills. Intrigued, Sheba herself journeyed to Jerusalem to test Solomon with challenging riddles. Queen Sheba devised perplexing questions to gauge King Solomon's intelligence. To her amazement, Solomon answered all her questions, leaving her in awe. Her visit revealed not only Solomon's wisdom but also the grandeur of his palace, the sumptuous feasts, the regal seating of his officials, the impeccable service of his attendants, and his devout offerings at the house of the Lord. During her stay, Solomon made Queen Sheba promise not to take anything from his palace, and he pledged not to harm her. One fateful night, before retiring to bed, Solomon placed a bowl of water near Queen Sheba's chamber. Awakened by thirst from a spicy meal, she found the water and drank it. Startled by the commotion, Solomon accused her of breaking her oath. In response, Queen Sheba implored Solomon to overlook the breach and allow her to quench her thirst. It was that night that their relationship took a more intimate turn. Prior to this, she had chosen to remain a virgin. Her hairy legs were a symbol of her decision to abstain from sexual activity, according to medieval Jewish legends. On her journey back to her kingdom in Oxim, northern Ethiopia, Queen Sheba gave birth to a son named Ibn al-Malik, known as Menelik. Before her departure, Solomon presented her with a ring as a token of their bond. As Menelik grew, he inquired about his father, and Sheba handed him the ring from Solomon. At the age of 22, Menelik decided to visit Jerusalem and meet his father. Menelik finally met his father and resided in Solomon's palace for three years. Before returning to Oxim, Menelik secretly took Solomon's Ark of the Covenant without his consent, which contained the two stone tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments. Solomon pursued Menelik but was unable to recover the covenant. Legend has it that the covenant remains concealed in Oxim, safeguarded within the Church of Our Lady Mary of Zion. Menelik went on to establish the Solomonic dynasty in Ethiopia and embrace the laws of Moses, marking Ethiopia's first encounter with Christianity.